hi guys welcome back to my channel as i have promised you guys that i would like to continue to do my story time for my day number eight that i have spent in paris so if you have seen my previous video on my paris trip you will see day one day two and then day three and it's jumped to day five and then days um, eight you will see some day missing like day number four and then day number six and seven are missing just because i spent those days first of all day number six i was uh, we both my husband and i were really sick so we stayed in the hotel we did not do anything for that day so you know there is no day six for us to really you know to do anything for you guys to see but day number seven is the day that my or our friends has arrived so we join them to do some you know sightseeing and activities with our friends and out of respect for their privacy i would not reveal day number seven that we have spent in paris so continue on today will be day number eight and today is a very special day for me um you know as most of you guys already knows that uh, we took a trip to Europe mainly for our vacation because we haven't traveled um, you know outside the US for that many years since the pandemic but uh, at the same time I told my husband that when we are in Paris I would like to try out the Hermes um, system I want to learn about the you know the Paris system how to score a quarterback you know I want to have the uh, the experiences that I can come back and share with you guys. So I insist with my husband that I would like to, you know, go into an Irma store and try out as different locations that they, you know, they have in Paris to see what is it that I can gather uh, from my own experience there. And I will put the um, the link for my previous previous video that I shop at Irma's in Paris the uh, flagship store, the Faubourg store, and then I shop at the uh, store in uh, Lyon, which is in another city in France, which really close to Paris, about two hour and a half, you know, train ride. Um, so those two videos, I will put a link down. So, so if you haven't seen those videos, you will, you, know, you will have, you will see it. But just so you know, my um, next coming three more days, you will see that I also. We also came back to the uh, flagship store, the Forbes, and um, I will explain to you why. And we, you know, we also purchased some other stuff from that store. So there will be another unboxing. Um, that's what you know, things that we got from the Forbes store on the second times. But anyhow, today we focus on the Sevilla store. So today is day number eight. In the morning, we got up. We you know didn't have any plan for the day so i asked my husband um you know if we can check out the store the service store i have seen a lot of videos and pictures you know on youtube about this store and even before being there i already know how beautiful the store look because you know thanks to other youtubers that they have shown the uh, videos on you know of the store so my husband like always he's very supportive very sweet he says sure we have no plan so let's do that after breakfast so early in the morning we did our routine we came downstairs in the uh, you know the restaurant um, the hotel restaurant where they serve uh, breakfast so we had quick breakfast uh, my uh, cafe au lait which i have every day when i'm there in paris and after that we just decided to stroll to the service store, the Hermes service store. So today we decided to do two store, the Hermes store and Chanel. Um, we haven't, I have myself, I haven't checked out the Chanel store in Paris at all. And today is the day guys. So we, I will try to make the video a little bit shorter. So less story time, more focus on um, what did I get from Hermes. And what did I get from Chanel? Just because we didn't do much today, and all the size things we have done for the in the past, you know, seven days. So there's not much sizing in Paris that we do. So the remaining um, four days, we just spend times with our friends and families and shopping. 
and today we didn't have any plan with our you know with our friends or family so we decided to dedicate it to shopping at the Irma store in severe so the, the name the reason they call severe store is because the Irma, this Irma store is located on the severe avenue which is the you know the, the name of the rogue the street name and that's how they refer to this store and when we um so we took a walk just like we always do when we're in europe especially this trip we you know walk more than anything else sometimes when my feet get hurt we do call a taxi or an uber but most of the time we try to walk as much as we could just because um paris is a beautiful city it's so gorgeous and the more time you spend there the more time you walk around the prettier um you know you 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 can feel about the city or you can um, absorb you know the beauty of the city therefore i would recommend if you guys are traveling to paris try to um, walk around you know more than take taxi then you will see uh, you will truly see and feel the vibe of paris which i absolutely adore and love i've been to paris many times but every time i'm there it's like a, a first time to me especially the last time i was there was almost 15 18 years ago so this first trip um, that we took last month was like a brand new trip to me things have changed a little bit in paris like the store you know all the small uh, boutiques have uh, that i know have shut down new boutiques came out new bakeries new coffee um the amount of people the population also a little bit more crowded than i remember back then but overall it's still the same all right guys so without further delay i would like to continue on the time we spent at the service store so we get there around 10 30 10 45 because as i have mentioned in my previous video we try to um you know to to log on the Hermes paris website try to make an appointment try to get a letter appointment uh, enter our name in the lottery system you know with the hope that we will get selected so we can have the letter appointment at one of the three stores in paris so there are three stores in paris that actually carry handbags which are the forward store which is the model ship um, you know store and then the uh, chevrolet store which is the one that we're going today and then the short sink um, also they named the uh, short sink is the name of the street so they, they refer to the store at short sink which means josh the name is george number five short sink all right so we haven't been to short sink yet but uh, on our day 10 we did go to church sank not with uh, my you know not not for me but uh, for my friends and uh, i will ask her uh, for her permission if she okay for me to review what did she get or you know her a little bit on her immersed journey because it's very very interesting guys for her but I, but I don't want to give you guys too much spoilers so let's focus on me on my date number seven so we got to the store around like i say 10 45 a little bit after 10 30 i don't remember exactly is that 10 30 or 10 you know 35 or 10 45 something like that but because we got there and we didn't see any line which you know absolutely um shock for us because we were at the forward store or at the uh the leon store there were lights there were cubes and uh, you know people light up right but when we get to this store that's empty out in the front and we again there are two security you know gentlemen was uh at the door they were at the door and they greet us and ask what can they do for us so i just told them that i would like to check out some women's shoes some men's shoe and um, you know some jewelries so they point us downstairs so this store have three floors three levels the first floor is the uh, dedicated to shoe handbags jewelry and then um, you know small leather uh, goods and then the store that the entrance you know the uh, the first floor where the entrance is 
there is a uh, you know silk department where they sell ties, tweelies, scarves, and things like that. And I believe also ready to wear on that floor. I did not check out that floor too much because remember we were even we recover from our comb that we got from Leon back on day um, six. We spent the whole day on that day to dress in the hotel. The comb still lingering, so we're not hundred percent, you know, feel hundred percent better. So after we able to purchase a bunch of stuff from the downstairs floor, we got to the point that we got a little tired, so we decided that we check out the entire second floor or the third floor, which I am hoping that if I come back to Paris, that is what I'm gonna do. It's a beautiful store, guys. I will put a video up here. Uh, to show you you know what we are the clips that we were able to got from that store for you to see how beautiful the store you know is and when we went downstairs um it was not that crowded right you, you will see still so say uh who are standing around some chatting um you know there are a few sell so say they are busy with customers but there are also available sell so say who's standing around and I, we came to um, talk to one sales associate and we told her that we are looking for you know, some pieces of jewelry that we could not find and uh, also some shoes case. and she yep. was telling us that okay jewelry is a special specialty department so let me take you guys there and she took us to the jewelry section it's beautiful guys look here um, I just love the way they they decorate a store with you know those wooded tan. It's just so pretty. So um, it's just lovely when you walk in that store. The smell of the leather, the smell of um, the aroma of the perfumes, and uh, the way everything's you know structure. It's just beautiful. So this store was supposed to be, or it was a pool. So right next to the store, there's a hotel. And then the store used to be a you know an uh, indoor pool for that hotel. Somehow Hermes uh, turned this into their boutique, their store. So everything about this store is you know arts. They have a lot of painting on the wall, especially on the third floor. And the ceiling itself is beautiful with all the statues and you know paintings. I would try to show you. The best that we could um, capture from our camera or videos clips and picture i will also put here for you to enjoy uh, or to see what i mean and so after the lady set us down at a table but there are still pieces of jewelry um, everywhere and she said that uh, please sit here and you know someone will come to assist you so we thank her and then she left and my husband sat down he has some business email that he need to respond or reply and i just walked around and i saw jewelry pieces that i absolutely absolutely adore they are beautiful uh, but you know again it's uh not within what i want you to to get this trip so i kind of just uh you know window shop look around and then my husband uh, you know call me and I came right back so there's so Sel Sose who came out and greet us and uh, he was really nice he um, very professional he asked us that what is it that I'm look that we're looking for so I told him that uh, I was wearing a bracelet by the way I haven't done the uh, I haven't showed you guys the bracelet that I got back in in the US from my SA, SA here in the US right before i left for paris so i was wearing that bracelet that my sa here you know got me and i asked him if he can find me a matching ring and he looked at the bracelet and he was like wow it's beautiful bracelet congratulations um you know we don't have that many of the bracelets here in paris i said oh really i didn't know that i got it back in the us and he was like yeah i know because uh this is one of the uh, nice pieces a collection piece so 
he said okay i don't know what i get uh what i got but let me go inside and check if there's anything else would you like to see so i told him that uh, i would like you you know see if, if he has available the earring that you know to match with this this ring right here that i bought from leon from the Ernest store in leon so he looked at the ring and he said uh, he know for sure that he doesn't have a matching earrings but again it, he will you know double check for me and then he gone for about five ten minutes he came back and he you know would empty handed nothing nothing at all and he was like sorry madam i could not find anything uh, not the matching rings with your beautiful bracelets and i could not find the earring as well the earring you might want to check back in a few days but and um the earring i'm sorry the, the ring you might want to check back in a few days because i do see in the system that the trust sank store has one and the whole pair is only one available but don't quote me for that don't go to trust sank and say oh you know the sale so say from shiri store told me to go here i am not telling you anything i'm just let you know that there is one piece that i see available but that piece might be held for a customer or it might be sold already and they haven't up, uh, updated the system so don't quote me on that and i asked him that so do you think that i should take a trip to trust sank and check it out and he says sure you know by all means go for it but uh, if there are two or three available then i will have higher hope but if it's only show one available in the system most of the time it will not be available so good luck madam so i said all right uh, what about the earring and he said that the earring is you know just like the other lady explained to me uh, it will not be available anytime soon but you know you're more than welcome to check back so anyway we sat down and he was really helpful i asked a lot of questions about jewelries and he you know doesn't mind you spend almost like 30 45 minutes talking to me just about jewelry because he's he can see that i'm a you know i'm a jewelry lover he compliment on my studs i was wearing my uh, diamond studs and he compliment on my studs he's saying that the diamonds you have on is really really pretty it's uh, very the clarity is very good the color is also good so he knows you know he knows what he's talking about he, he has a lot of knowledge about jewelry so i just feel bad that i you know took too much time from him so i decided to get up and say you know what let me walk around to see if there's anything else that i like and then he was like yes please take your time i'm here until you know you don't you no longer need me so i took around and i mean i walked around and this time I saw this ring right here. So some of you guys have uh, sent you know message ask me about this ring because I've been wearing this ring literally every day. I just love love how cute and how adorable the dangling lock is. So I saw this ring. I you know came back and. Um, asked him that i would like to see this ring so i took him there to the showcase and he you know he took it out and showed me and the side is perfectly fit me so i like to wear things that loose especially you know for jewelry because i'm the type that i don't sleep with my jewelry as most of you guys already know i have reviewed this uh, to you guys in, in you know, on few occasions so i like to wear things loose because first of all i can take it out easily put it on and take it off easily and second of all i would like to kind of be creative to wear this you know the ring on any fingers that i like so for smaller fingers i always have my wedding band and by the way um you know some uh, of you guys have uh, messaged me asking you know what is the brand of my wedding band so i just want to uh let you know that this is from Tiffany and I do have three wedding bands <laughs> I know <laughs> so when we first get married um, when my husband proposed to me and we you know get ready for the wedding and we went and shop for our wedding band I did ask my husband if he's you know if he okay if I get three bands 
because I'm the type of person that I will get bored with my jewelry very fast and I don't want to get bored with my wedding band. So I, I would like to have um, something I can be creative with. And uh, my husband, like, as always, he's uh, very, very loving. And of course he say, that's fine with him. So I end up, you know, we end up got three wedding, I mean four total, one is for him of course, and then three for me. So I got two diamond wedding band, one in platinum. So back in the time that we wedded, platinum was really, really expensive and uh, very rare. So I absolutely, absolutely adore this wedding band, this eternity um, diamond wedding band. And I also got one in 18 you know, karat gold, same style, which I wear almost, um, daily to either I wear this or I wear that yellow gold band or sometimes I wear them together to create a um, different style and then I got also a bland just white gold um, wedding band you know for some very casual occasion I don't want to wear diamond I can have that wedding band but anyhow for you know for the same big size of rings I can wear on my smaller finger and then I will put my wedding band outside to lock it. So I will, you know, so it will fit me, right? But on Sunday, I want to wear it on this finger. Then I could too. Look. <laughs> or even this finger. So, yep. For me, um... Jewelry has to be loose. But anyhow, make the story short. I told him that I, I would like to buy this ring. So he said, okay, let me go and get the box and wrap it up for you. And if there's anything else that would you like me to show you? So I told him that um, that's all on the jewelry section. But I do have uh, two pair of shoes for myself and for my husband that I would like to see if he has in stock. So, you know, he says, sure, I will meet you at the shoe section. Um, let me go inside and put this ring away for you because this is the, the, the only piece that uh, we have left. And so we walk away from the jewelry shop, go to the woman's shoe. My husband, you know, go to the man's shoe and I go to the, I went to the woman's shoe waiting for him. He came back, I tried on a few pair of shoes. Nothing really worked for me. <coughs> the two pair that I had in my he didn't have them, he didn't have them available also for my husband um oh you know what my husband already took the pair of shoe out to wear so i don't have it today here for me to unbox for you guys but um i will try to see if i can take a picture of his shoe and i will put up you know here for you guys to know which pair of shoe that we got but anyhow I end up did not get any pair of shoe because there's nothing available and everything I try on is uh, not comfortable for me. And then, um, so make the story short, I purchased a few other stuff from him. And I will unbox soon, right after this video for you to see. I'm thinking to do the unboxing together in this video, okay? So we don't have to wait for another video for the unboxings. And then I will do the Chanel, um, the my experience, you know, from the Chanel in Paris on the next video. So I will cut day number eight into videos. The first video is all about Hermes at the Chevrolet store. And then the second video is about Chanel, what did I get from the Chanel, the flagship store in Paris. All right, guys. So after he, he helped me with the shoe, I could not find anything before he even you know, help me to get this stuff right here. Um, and like I say, he was really friendly and very professional, but very friendly, um, very knowledgeable man. We talk, my husband and him talk a lot about the origin of Hermes, you know, their letters, um, things like that. And they talk about all the um, quick, uh, you know, uh, stories about their heroes and the reason everything came up because my husband saw a statue of Hermes on a horse. Here, here it is. So when you first enter to the store, 
you will see the stair, you know, a flight of stair right in front of you that you can go down to the you know lower level. And when you're at lower level, if you're looking up, you will see the statues right here, which at first I did not pay attention, but my husband he loved quick um you know history and uh, mythology things like that so he looked it up and he noticed that right away and apparently he really admired that statues so he asked this so uh, this man the so so say about if you have any um you know ready to wear any shirts t-shirts have the picture of the statues and that's when they start talking about things so so we spent about 15, 20 minutes, you know, chatting. My husband and him chat about Greek mythology. Um, I and him chat about jewelry. So it seemed like the we have a mutual connection. And I don't say this much about any other, uh, you know, experiences in Paris with any other associate because French, they seem very professional, very polite, but they're very cold. Um, but with, with, you know, with this gentleman, he somehow, he, I feel like he warmed up to us and, um, you know, he didn't mind that we, you know, we took that much time from him, almost over an hour, almost an hour or probably a little bit more. And we end up only got one piece of ring and this ring is not much. Anyhow, he was okay. He didn't care if we purchased that many items from him. At that point, I only purchased this item from him. And I decided to just, you know, share with him the frustration that, uh, or, the, or the disappointment that I've been having with the lottery appointment system. So I told him that we tried for the past eight days and we could not get any appointment and we have to, you know, we're living in, uh, in four days, but technically it's only in two days because the other two days we already have planned outside the city where we have to leave the city early, which mean is, if we get selected for the lottery system, we cannot make it. So it's very slim chance for me to be able to score a bag that I really, really want. And I wanted that bag uh, for so many years. But uh, this year, since I start my Hermit journey in the US, my SA was also very, very nice and very lovely in the US. She tried and she was able to get me a Birkin. Uh, which is in a rare color, Birkin Creek color, for my husband to surprise me at anniversary. Even though I love that Birkin, but I still have the other bag, with my dream bag, you know, in my mind. And I was really hoping that I was able to get that here in Paris, but now I'm losing my hope. So I literally say exactly what, what I just said to you guys, to him. Just like I share with him what exactly happened to me, what exactly what I want. Um, and how hopeless I was about Irma's uh, journey in Paris. I feel like I'm losing my hope. I don't think I will get my letter appointment at this point. So he looked at me and he was like, you know, it's tough. Um, and I said, I know. Um, and I asked him, do you think you can help me to get an appointment? That would be really awesome. I would please that very much. And he was like, I don't think I can do that, but um, do you know what bag do you like? So I told him my dream bag and he he looked at me and he was like, you must be kidding me. And I said, I didn't understand what he tried to say. So I say, what do you mean? No, that's that's my dream bag. And then my husband came from nowhere, you know, came in from nowhere. He was walking around and he stopped like, yeah, she loved that. Um, she had the whole shelf, whole closet with Chanel. And um, I can tell you right now, she's probably willing to trade, you know, three or four personnel for that bag. All I hear day and night is that bag. So he looked at me and he was like, I don't think, I don't think we have any, anything like that, you know, in there, but uh, just for you. And he's so cute. I mean, like, literally he's very, very um, nice, very sweet, but a little authority <laughs> at the same time. So make him, very cute and he was like today i'm only allowed to be in jewelry section so let me see what i can do let me ask my supervisor if i can help you in handbags and don't you know don't don't hoping for too much because i'm not sure i can get anything for you but let me let me try to do some magic oh no he did he did not say that he said let me try to see if i can do anything 
just stay and wait here. The magic words he said later, I will share with you in a little bit. So he left and I look at my husband and I was like, I hope somehow he doesn't promise anything, you know, unlike the sales associate back in Leon where she gave me a lot of hope. This gentleman was more like, okay, I hear ya. Um, I, you know, I know that you are frustrated, you are disappointed and you really want something, but my hand is tied because I'm not at the, you know, handbag section today. But let me see what I can do. So to me, it's more like, okay, I hear you. I'm a little, I uh, feel sorry for you, but uh, okay, wait here. So I, I feel like maybe he come back and, you know, will just tell me that he tried, right? But something about him, I don't feel like he's faking, you know? Um, so I, I do have some hope, but not like a lot, a lot of hope that like I had with the, uh, the other sales so say back in Leon. But anyway, he went really quick. And honest with you, to be honest with you, I don't think he even asked his supervisor because the time was really, really fast. So I saw him come back, you know, from from the inside, and I told my husband, "Oh no, it's not gonna be anything because he literally just gone for less than three minutes, and he already back." And my husband just like rubbed my shoulder and said, "It's okay, you have four, you know two more days to try." But anyway, he came back and he like, "Please follow me." And I was like, for real? And you know, I actually it showed on my face and uh, I don't have a poker face ever. So if you see me happy, you can see it right there. <laughs> or you see me upset or disappointed. It's so my face is we, you know, reveal you very reveal all my feelings at the moment. So I was so happy and I was like, for real, you're gonna take me into that room? I haven't been to a room before. And he was like, look at me and, and you know, like say like, Okay, please come, come on. So we follow him to this small room, has no windows, right behind one of the wall. And then he was like, okay, so let's go over what you want again, beside the bag that you told me, if there's any other bag that you're willing to take. So I told him that, you know, of course I want, I really, really, truly want my dream bag but uh, i'm open to see anything that he can get me at this point because you know he already here and um he, you, you were able to took me into this room so it's already a little you know a little surprise for me i appreciate that and he said okay so stay here i will see what we have in stock and i'll be right back and he gone for about maybe 10 minutes this time and he came back with a small box and I don't want to repeat the same mistake that I did with the, you know, the sales source in Leon. I was so excited to see that box and turn out it was not the thing that I want. So I don't want to, uh, you know, draw myself into that disappointment again. So I kind of be cool and hold my, uh, you know, hold, you know, hold myself together. And I asked him, oh, can I see what is it inside? And he was like, so this one is not exactly what you're asking but it's a beautiful bag it's a uh, most sell after everyone looking for this bag and i hope uh, this is something that you can uh, you know carry with you when you're here in paris because i did tell him that i do i would like something some nice Hermes handbag so i can you know cross body or kind of go where carry around the around paris for you know photo ops and things like that um, and then he said this thing you can use for that purpose and you will have a nice uh, memories, you know, photos and videos wearing this bag in Paris. So again, he made me excited for a little bit more. And I said, yes, please, let me see it. So make it the story short. He opened the box, right? And it's another bag. It's a Constance, the mini Constance in black, um, you know, Epsom leather. It's beautiful with gold hardware and everything. So I look at the bag and then I thought to myself, I and he said like do you like the bags would you like to try it on I said sure so I tried it on and my husband about to take picture and he was like sorry you know there's no picture no video allowed in this room so that explained why we could not take any picture of the bags that we got or of any you know any uh, mud shot that we got at the day or I got on that day but anyhow I tried it on it's beautiful I love it but then during the time that we exchange knowledge and things like that, um, 
I did learn from him that Paris Love has a system. So even with later appointment, one person only allow one bag per six months. So let's say if I decide to go ahead and accept the offer on this constant, I might lose my chance to get another bag if you know if it happened I got a letter appointment the next day or the day after, then I might not I will not get to to pick another bag because I will be banned for another six months. So I I, although I like constants, but to be honest with you guys, constant is on my on the bottom of my wish list. So I do have a lot of <laughs> bags on my wish list, and constant is literally the the really last bag that I would want to collect someday to fulfill my Hermes collection. But not the bag that I want for my first few Hermes handbag that I able to got direct from the store. So I thought about it, and he was like, "So you like it?" And I told him that, to be honest with you, I love it, I like it, but um, it's not the dream bag that I want. It's actually number three, number four down the list, you know, from my other dream bags. But I do want this bag some days. And, you know, I took the advice to heart that if I take this bag, mean that I might not be able to get another bag elsewhere, um, you know, in, in, in Paris or in France, correct? And he said, yes, that's correct. So I told him, as, and then I, you know, for some reason I was so brave. And like I say, but at the same time, because I only want to spend, um, you know, on the bag that I really want for now. And, and constant is the bag that I don't really necessarily have to get today or now. So I told him that uh, even I appreciate his help. I, you know, really, really appreciate that. And I really like Constance, uh, but at the same time, I would like to reserve my chance for the last two more days. Um, if I get the letter appointment, I might be able to get a, you know, my two dream bag, which is a Kelly. Um, so I think that I have to, uh, you know, not to get this bag today, which is, is making me a little sad. But at the same time, I don't want to take a chance that if I was able to get uh, an appointment, you know, from him, not from him, but from any store in Paris, I would not have a chance to pick the dream bag that I want. So I reject the bag. And he looked at me, and the way he looked at me, I can tell that he was a little shocked because, you know, people at, people are at the constants, um, especially the mini constant in that combo you know, Epsom, black Epsom with Rome hardware, and here I am reject, you know, rejecting the bag. So he looked at me and he was like, huh, you know exactly what you want, you know, and then my husband looked at him and said, always. So, so they both laughed and he, he's shy. He was like, huh, okay, let me see if I can do any magic. So he used a magic word this time. Um, and that's was why I call him my Hermes fairy. So I look at him and say, "So you you gonna try again for me?" And he was like, "I am not promised anything, but I will see. So wait here." And he be gone again. Again, this man, he he has the sense of humor. He's very polite, very sweet, but he has the authorities, you know, sense of authority at the same time. So make him. It's hard to explain, but uh, he's an interesting person. So he left, and this hair was long. He gone for almost 20, 25 minutes. So I told my husband that's either gonna be good news or either gonna be, you know, he gonna probably get bored with me. So he went and, you know, have someone else, or maybe he already forgot about us here. But anyway, he came back, and this hair also was small box. <laughs> and I look at him and I thought to myself that it must be a Kelly because I, he knew that I reject a really hot bag, the constant, the mini constant. I don't think he would offer me some random bag anymore because he already knew that I have my heart set on a Kelly. So I was really hopeful at that part, you guys. I just don't know the combo or anything, right? But my gut tell me that this is the Kelly.
Kelly 25 because that is my dream bag. So um, he sat down and he looked at me and he said, Madam, you were very specific of what you want. And I appreciate that. I try my best. I have you, have you gone above and beyond to get you this item, but this one is very specific like you, like yourself. And I don't know if you will like it or not, but this is gonna be it. Uh, I don't have any other magic that I can pull today. So I hope you like this. So, you know, the way he's saying like, you know what, this is why I think that you would lie, but at the same time, you might, you might not like it because it's not exactly what you asked for. So deep down inside, I feel a little disappointment, right? Because like I already expressed my feeling to him that I would rather reserve my cans, even though slim cans, just two more days, you know, waiting for my dream bags. But anyway, he said, are you ready? And I said, yes, I would like to see. So he unboxed, you know, again, I feel so bad that I could not recall the whole uh, unboxing because that's truly is my dream bag, guy. <laughs> I know I cannot hold it. I, I'm revealing it to you guys. So anyway, he unboxed the box and here is the box. Well, I put it back in here so I can unbox for you guys, but I have carried this bag many times in Paris. Are you guys ready? And this is truly my trip bag. I have a goosebumps, you guys. <laughs> oh, I love, love that sale. So say he's such a darling. Are you ready? Ta da da! Ta da ta da! A Kelly 25 in black and gold hardware combo and in the heritage letter box letter. You know, um, I mean, I know there's a lot of people do not like box letter because they scare of the letter will be very, very easy prone to scratch. But for me, I just like lambskin in Chanel. I love caviar. But I won and I waited to get the best bag, my truly, you know, dream bags in a lamb skin because I want to have a piece to collect in the most delicate, the most heritage letter of the brand. So same thing with Hermes. I know that it's not easy for me to get my hand on a, Bur uh, a Kelly or a Birkin and around at this, I mean, at this time, my SA from the U.S. told me that it's more it's more difficult to get a Kelly 25 than a Birkin 25 these days, especially this year. So she was the one that telling me if you go to Paris and ask for your dream bag, the Birkin I might be able to get for you, but Kelly, if you can get it, get it. So, and I always like a Kelly. I love Birkin. But I love Kelly because it gives you the option to, you know, have a shoulder strap. And it's, I don't know, it's something about it's very, very unique, very delicate, and very ladylike. All right, guys. So I'm still so happy even now talking to you guys and having this baby for almost a month now. But I'm still super, super happy that I was able to get my hand on this bag. Oh yeah, and go back. Um, like I said, I know that box is not a letter of choice for a lot of people. But for me, I wanted a box letter because I know, first of all, Hermes doesn't make um, that much you know, box letter in Kelly, especially Kelly 25. And if you don't believe me, you can Google search to see for yourself. Um, you can see they are Kelly 25 in different colors, even black. But in box letter, brand new box, or the recent years, you will not find it. All the box in Kelly um, 
handbags are either for size 32, Kelly 32, Kelly 35. Very randomly, you will find one in Kelly 28, and almost zero chance you can get on Kelly 25. And if you do, even with Kelly 28 or Kelly 32, they are vintage handbags, which really, really older, um, probably anywhere between 20 to 50 years um, ago. Those are the really vintage, which at some point I thought to myself, if I cannot get this, you know, from a boutique, I am thinking to get one from the resellers, um, you know, vintage Kelly in box letter, but I've been, you know, watching the market and looking and I could not find even with the um, vintage Kelly 25, there's not available in box letter. I found several in Kelly 28 and more in Kelly 32. So anyway, come back to that day. He took this out. My heart was pausing, but I could not believe my eyes. And again, I'm not that good, you know, at telling the letters, uh, you know, Irma's letter like I, like I, I do with Chanel, even though I have uh, educated myself, I learned about Irma's letter, but I can, I was still confused between box letter and swift letter because they are very similar. So I look at this and I could not believe that this is box letter because, you know, I read everywhere saying that Irma's have stopped produce box letter for Kelly uh, bags. So I didn't believe that this was Kelly. I thought that this was a swift letter and you know, which I was still happy. I still, you know, take it um, and maybe get a vintage box letter, Kelly 28s or, you know, later. But anyway, he looked at me, he said, do you know this letter? And I said, it's looked like swift letter. And he said, I thought you asked me for a black box letter, um, you know, Kelly 25, which honestly is a rich, you know that, right? He looked at me and I was like, I know, and I didn't even know that, you know, that you would have in stock, but I just told you what I really want, my dream bath. And I also told you that the Swift letter is okay. So thank you. Is this Swift letter? Can I touch it? At that point, I didn't even touch the bath yet. And he gave it to me, he said, no, madam, this one a very, very rare item. They only make 7% of this bag and you should be proud of yourself and proud of me. I did some magic. This is the box Kelly 25, just like your dream bag, madam, more than the Swift. <laughs> and then he handed me the bag and I was speechless. I looked at the back closer and he was right, it's shiny. You know, one thing, that the difference between the box letter and the swift letter is box is a lot shinier than swift letter. And um, you can see with box letter, it's a little bit uh, fine. You don't see that many grains. Even swift letter, you cannot see grain either. But if you put two swift letter and the box letters, you can tell. So for me, I never had box letter nor swift letter you know before it's so hard for me to know which and which right but after he told me this is box letter and after i have it on my hand have a closer look with my glass on i could not see that well without you know without my glasses so when he unboxed i start putting my glasses on and when i take a closer look this baby is so beautiful it's exactly what i want guys it's box letter it's how shiny it is how beautiful it is and in the gold hardware. So anyway, I was speechless for like good, you know, two minutes. Just keep admiring this baby right here. So finally, I say, you know what? Thank you so so much. This truly is my dream bag. You are truly an angel, and an Hermes uh, Prairie. Especially after the whole weeks of uh, disappointment. I finally get my baby, get a bag and a baby and my top wish list, guys. <laughs> oh, anyway, I will put some mud shot and some video that I carry this baby to dinners in Paris several times since we were there. 
But anyway, I just want to show you the details. Even I carry a few times, you can see it's almost spanky news because I was really careful with this baby. It's gonna be my collect, um, you know, collection item, and I will have this one for the rest of my life because I can see myself with this handbag five years from now, 15 years from now, even 20, 30 years from now, I can still carry this baby to my grandchildren's wedding or things like that, you know? I know it sounds silly, but uh, that is what I like for myself when it comes to collection items. I want something that I can see myself 20 years from now, 30 years from now, and this is one of them. So I will be really careful using it. So this box letter is not a handbag for you to wear every day. I know, you know, I, I knew that. Um, I don't mind with that. So on my wish list, I still want something like this in Kelly 25, hopefully in gold color, in Epsom letter where I can carry every day. That will be my everyday bag. Or uh, not everyday, but you know, I can use that bag very often. Whereas with this box letter here, I will treasure it and carry only on very formal, special occasion. All right, guys. Um, actually, I'm just gonna show you the whole thing. Considering today is an unboxing of my baby. So the Crick uh, Bergen 25 that my husband got me for anniversary, that was, you know, my first baby, and this is my second baby. So I, we have named the Birkin 25 Joyce. The name Joy because I was really happy and surprised on the day that he took me to Irma's store and surprised me with that uh, Crick uh, Birkin 25. So this one right here, we still haven't named it yet. But I can have an idea of the name in mind, but I still want input from you guys. If you um, have an idea or have a name that you think will fit with this baby, please leave me a comment below. Um, I would love, love to, to have your help to pick out a name for this baby. So box letter and Epsom letter and even Swift letter, they are pretty stiff when you first get them. When they knew they're pretty stiff so this baby is still a little stiff when it's you know open. Um, are closed but he does you know the, the sales souls that he explained to me that everyone's scared of box letter and swift letter he was so um you know appreciate when i asked him for box letter because not that many people appreciate box letter and he said that uh, everyone wanted epsom letter but there's one thing that you might not know is uh, with box and swift letter especially box letter and that's what's why it become vintage because if something happened, if there's a scratch on box letter, there's two things you can do. If it's a lighter scratch, lighter damage, you can just use your hand and puff it away. Same with swift letter. And the um, patina, the scratch will blend in with the letter and it will be gone and you will not notice you know, it anymore. Or if it get too big, the damage, or it, you know, too bad, then you can always bring back to Hermes and they can restore the condition of a box handbags or the Swift leather handbags. They have many ways to do it. They can restore the box um, leather handbag to a pristine condition easier than the Epsom or the Togo leather. So, you know, what he tried to say is um, box leather, yes, it's dedicated, but it can be fixed and you will be able to treasure it for years, year to come. Whereas with Epsom and Togo Leather, one has got scratch or damage on, that's gonna be it. It will permanently stay in there. Hermes cannot do anything about it. So anyway, that's it guys. Yeah, look at the inside. It's so beautiful. And the gold hardware. So here is the shoulder strap. Oh my goodness, the video getting long. It's almost an hour, guys. I will try to edit the video and uh, make it a little bit shorter. So I don't think we can do the unboxing for Chanel 
now i will cut the video in half and i will do another video on the chanel experience on that day you know which for me after the surprise from this Hermes fairy whatever happened in chanel was um was like a uh, cherry on top right this is my this is my cake right here so um, the things that i got from chanel was like it says cherry on top so i did have a wonderful wonderful days on day number eight in paris and my husband could see how happy i was and i and he was really happy for me too baby girl what's on your arm looking good i like it Mm. all right guys thank you so much for tuning in again um, oh and then by the way after we got the handbags you know this baby right here we went out and i asked him that would you mind to pick out a tree leaf for me and also you know a um, a charm for the handbag like a, maybe a pegasus and he looked at me he was like no pegasus available i don't see any that i can tell you right now when I've been looking. So I did not get any Pegasus from him. He did pick out a tree leaf for me. Sorry guy, I forgot to bring it back here. Because like I say, I um, carry this handbag several times in Paris, but I do have the video and picture of when I carry this back with the tree leaf on. So I will not unbox the tree leaf. And then I turned to him and asked him, you know, for all this stuff. Um, and then he was able to get for me. So here is a perfume that I got from him. He let me try, you know, uh, sample on the uh, the smell, and I fell in love with the smell. So I told him that I wanted, and this is what I got from him. And so it's called Rouge Hermes. And it smells really, really good, guys. And then I also got a... Uh, you know what? This is the first time I unboxed this stuff since I came back from Paris. So bear with me. Oh, yeah. So I got this one. It's a key holder. I'm sorry, not key. The cards holder. And this is brand new um, style coming out from this season. So he showed it to me and he said it's very, very cute. You can see the horse right here and if I would like, you know, would like it. And I told him, yes, I would like to collect it. And this is one of, according to him, it's also a collection piece. So I got, I got this card um, holder here. And I think what else I get from him? Ah, oh, what is it? You know, I've got several items, you know, smaller items from all four boutiques in, you know, four Hermes boutiques in Paris. So I could not remember exactly what item that I got. Oh, this one, I remember now. Yes, guys, so this is the belt that I always wanted and I could not find one in the US. So that day when he showed me the card holder, I did ask him and I show him the picture and he was able to get one for me, the Kelly belt. It's called Lucky Belt. And the reason I won, you know, this ring, because in my mind, I really like the dangling lock. So now I have a set, I have earrings, matching earrings. They call Colossus. And then the Colossus belt, somehow they call Lucky Belt. You see it? All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's not too long. I'm sorry, the video, the video got out of hand. Um, I will try to edit the best I could to make it shorter. And then I will see you in my next video. If you like the video or you like any of my previous videos and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope to see you again soon. So please subscribe at the button um, below and then 
press the bell button right next to it so you, you'll be notified when my next video coming out and for you guys who already here many times i love you all and i appreciate for your time and support by the way i will do the giveaway uh, announcement you know all the winners next week so stay tuned guys love you bye for now have a great day guys